This is Joe Coy, and you're watching Comedy Matters TV. So please, subscribe. We need to keep this thing going. Hey, so it's Jeffrey Gurian here for Comedy Matters Radio with Ron and Fez at Sirius XM. And I had such a great surprise today. I brought Russell Peters in to do the show. And who is here to do the show also but Joe Coy. How are you, Joe? I'm good, sir. Great. It's great to see you here. Thank you so much for having me. Well, let me be on the show. That was awesome. Are you kidding? It was amazing. And you and Russell together were like so funny. Well, you're friends. You're of course. Yeah, Russell is just, well, you know, he's friends with everybody. Yeah. But uh, it's just, it's a little special to me. I get, to, I knew him, you know, a little bit longer than most. So, and he's always been nice and, and, and gracious. You know what I mean? He is that way. Yeah, he, he is that way. He's he totally, he's one of those guys who's very open and welcoming. I always said, too, when, when I met Russ, like, I was like, you know, I think the only way you can give back to somebody that has it all is to make sure that you do the same gesture with somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pay it forward, as cheesy Absolutely. as that sounds. No, it, it works. It, it totally does works. work, man, because he, what he did for me just uh, made me a different person. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, I understand how it is to be in that position now, and, and, and now I'm doing the same thing Russell did. So, and hopefully it'll continue. There are very few people who go out of the way to be nice to people. Russell is one of those guys. Like, I love the fact that I could call him and come on the show with me. Yeah. And Nick Kroll's been that way for me. Nick Kroll puts me on his show. Ron is that way for me, from Ron and Fez. Yeah. Sometimes in life, you get guardian angels that look out for you. you know? Yeah, that, that's the cool thing. We've been blessed. So uh, that's why I see people in this game that, that burn bridges and, 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 and do stuff like that. And it's just, that's the wrong way to go. It doesn't make way to go. It's the wrong way to go. You're living for that day. You know what I mean? This game, it, there's too much to offer, and there's enough for everybody. Yeah, there's an abundance in the universe. Abundance yeah. for everybody. Yeah. Just because one man is successful doesn't mean the next man can't be the same you know exactly. be in the same spot so exactly. and that's how russell is he he like he understands like i'm i'm in a position where i can't be touched and i want you to be in the same position so i'm going to help you and, and that's what he does and, and that's why i take that advice pay it forward it, it helps it, it comes back good karma <laughs> good karma pays off for sure yeah. how often do you get to new york I, you know, I usually play it twice a year, and I, and it, and I don't know how it happens, but it strategically hits right around uh, snowstorm season. And I'm not even joking. The last time I was here, it was snowing, and, and of course, I get here uh, yesterday, and it was like 15 feet of yeah, snow. It's crazy. It's good. Yeah. But now, oh, but are you originally a New York guy? You're always from the no. West Coast. No, I'm from Vegas originally, and then now LA is my home. Now, was last I live right next to Russell. Yeah, uh, that, yeah well, yeah. that I know. Uh, was Last Comic Standing a big a break no, no, for you? I, I never did Last Comic. I, I, I did? turned Last Comic Standing down. You did? Yeah, uh, uh, the, the Tonight Show was my big break. That was my biggest break. I was working at Nordstrom Rack, getting shoes for customers. I was in the shoe department. And literally, uh, uh, I got the Tonight Show. The next day, everybody noticed me from the Tonight Show. I didn't know how many people watched the Tonight Show. I guess half the world watches it. That was with Jay Leno. Jay Leno. Yeah. And uh, and literally the next uh, the next week I, I got to quit. I was booked on a tour. I got a commercial deal. I got all kinds of stuff from that wow. Tonight Show. Yeah, Jay Leno, man, unbelievable. I had no idea that Tonight Show was that big, that powerful. It doesn't happen for everybody. No. That, I mean, years ago I used to with Carson. You could yeah. do a great thing on Carson, and the next day your career would be made. But these days, so you had something really special yes. going on. That was an amazing, amazing thing. Yes. And uh, so you were selling shoes before? Literally. So I had two jobs at that time. I was selling shoes and I was also uh, putting books up on the shelf at Borders Books at the time. And what clubs were you working in LA uh, at the time? Only, before? You? Only the Laugh Factory. I was only doing the Laugh Factory. I was doing it like six nights a week. And how'd you get booked on Leno? How did that come about? Uh, I got it on the Montreal comedy, you know, oh, the, just, the, for laughs. just for Laughs. Yeah. I got off stage and uh, Ross and Bob, who I think to this day, uh, walked right up to me and he goes, you just earned your spot uh, on The Tonight Show. And, and that it took eight months after that. <laughs> but when it finally came, uh, Knocked it out of the park. Do you remember how you felt just before you went on the air? Were you very nervous or oh, did yeah. you feel good? Yeah, I was actually a little more hyped because uh, I got bumped back a little bit because Joaquin Phoenix went a little too long. Uh -huh. So uh, the producers came up to me and said, hey, unfortunately, we're going to have to bump you a little bit. You're not going to be able to sit on the couch and talk to Jay. And that was like the one thing I really, really wanted was to sit on yeah, the couch. Course, yeah, yeah. So then I had, it went from nervous energy to like, I need to crush energy. And I went up and, and, and did that and Jay because of my, you know, I, I did well enough for him to 
pull me over. Pull to you call. over. He oh, called me over wow. instead of because they said he was going to walk to me, and and he just I turned around and looked, and he's waving me over. I run. I ran over there. I go. I got to sit on this couch, man. So I can feel the excitement just by you telling yeah, the story. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I can feel. I can. Uh, um, I can. That must have been amazing. So. You're in New York now. You're doing Levity. Uh, did you come to New York just to do Levity? Yeah, just Levity. Yeah, it's a big club. Oh, I love it. I love that that, that club. I love uh, you know the guys that, that own it. And uh, the reason that that's why I said that because yeah. Chris Mazzilli owns Gotham and he, he runs a classy operation. Yeah, they always run a great club. So Levity is a super club. Yeah, A plus club. It is the best. Food to the comedy to everything to the the venue. It's just perfect. And when do you head back to LA? Uh, Sunday. So well, it was great seeing you, man, and Thank thanks you. so much for coming on. It You're was awesome. it was great. You too, brother. The best, the most stylish guy in the game right here. Thank you. <laughs>